of Unit 3. It's solving quadratics by graphing. Here you can see it says the solutions of the quadratic equation are known as the zeros of the quadratic. The real zeros are the x-intercepts of the parabola. Therefore, I want you to right now to underline x-intercepts, zeros, and solving this are all asking the same thing. Okay, for the first question, it says for the following, complete a sketch, find the vertex algebraically. This is actually a review from the previous unit. So how do you remember? You take the equation. And the first thing we must do is divide or factor out the two. We factor the two out of the only the first two terms. Then what we must do is figure out what to add and subtract in that bracket. And if you remember, you take the, number, the coefficient of the x term, divide by 2, and squared. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. We add 9, subtract 9, and the minus 3 remains outside the bracket. Now, x squared plus 6x plus 9 is the same as writing x plus 3 squared. To remember how to do that, you either square root the third term or divide the middle term by 2. To bring the negative 9 out, we must go negative 9 times 2. That's negative 18. There's a negative 3 out there. That's negative 21. The vertex, as you may see, is negative 3, comma, negative 21. As you remember, you must always ask, what are you subtracting? You are subtracting a negative 3. So, on this graph, as you can see, negative 21 will not fit on the graph, so we'll count every one as two units. So that's negative 2. Negative 3 would be halfway between. Negative 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So negative 21 would just be a little bit off the graph. Opens up. And there you go. The question also says plot five points plot five points. We can go to our calculator. We can also check this answer. x plus 3 squared and minus 21. Zoom to standard. You can see that the vertex is not shown. So we change our window. Y min to maybe negative, as long as it's more than negative 21, so negative 25. Hit graph and you can see the vertex. To get five points, we can use our table feature. There is six points there. You can also just plug x values in. For this question, the first thing we must do is rearrange so it is y equals. The easiest way is to bring the 9 to the other side. And as you see, you have that. Now, I ask for you to fa factor this into this form here. Do that now. Okay, so I ask that you try this, and I will now go through on how to do this. Again, we think of 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So we go x squared. We, as you notice, we do not need to factor anything out. And we add 9 and we subtract 9. And you'll notice the other subtraction 9 will remain exactly where it is. x squared minus 6x plus 9, that is the same as x minus 3 squared. Negative 9 minus 9 more is negative 18. You can see the vertex of this graph is at 3 comma negative 18. Graph that on your page here, again using a scale of 2, and find 5 points. Okay, to the next page. What I ask you to do is take these steps and write them down. We're back with more exciting math. Okay, so as you can see, the two steps here is you break the equation up at the equal sign. You graph the left side as y1, graph the right side as y2. Well, the other option is put everything in to one side and graph zero with the other. So as you can see, we break it up right there. This part is graphed as y1. This part is graphed as y2. 
I will do that now. In my y1, I graph 2 x squared plus 5x minus 3. And as y2, I will graph 0. Zoom again, I will refer back to zoom standard. You can see the answers are when the two graphs intersect. A review part from lesson 1 now. To get to intersect, if you hit the second, then the calc, and you go to number 5. You can see that there are two answers. So you must move your cursor on the screen to the closest to one of them. Hit enter three times. And you can see one answer is negative 3. We will write that on our page. x is equal to negative 3. However, now, you'll also see there is another answer. Second calc intersect. So move your cursor over to the other answer. Enter three times. And the answer is 0 0.5. 0 0.5, of course, is a half. Also, because we're doing it by graphing, we'll include a rough sketch showing the two answers. Now, let's try this one. This time, 2x squared is y1, negative 5x plus 3 is y2. So in y1, I have 2x squared. And in y2, I have negative 5x squared plus 3. Hit graph again. This time the graph looks a little different. We have two parabolas. Again, same process. Hit second count. Go down to 5, intersect. Scroll over to the 1, intersect. Hit enter twice. Let's get that up. 2x squared and negative 5x squared. Did I do that right? Oh, negative 5x. Yeah. Okay, so we're all going to start this again. Because we'll cut it. Right? Okay, so we'll cut it to here to negative 5x. Because I'll have to edit this. Man, this hopefully this, to edit this is not that hard. <laughs> so now you see a parabola with a line. Now the one intersect, you can see the line up there is not in our window. So to change that, we must go window. We want to see further above. That would be changing y max. You change it to a guess, I will guess 20. I can see that I see both intersections. Again, second calc, go to 5. Scroll over to the 1, enter 3 times. And the answer is negative 3. Second calc, intersect. Scroll over to the other one, enter 3 times. And the other answer is 0.5 again. Again, all I'm looking for is what x equals. I do not, I ignore the y value. So x is equal to negative 3 and 0 0.5. Again, just a quick sketch of the graph. Labeling the two intercepts. Now, I have two different equations, but the answers are the same. Why would that be? I would like you to take some time, think about that, and write down your answer in the space below. Back to page three. Now, what I want is this now is graphed as y1, this graph is y2. I'm not going to show you the graph this time, I want you to do it yourself. And I want you to calculate the intersection. Now, behind the magical purple box, you will see is this is the graph you should be getting. And those are the two answers. Now your homework assignment is this simple. I want you to do question four, and I want you to send a message to me on Facebook on how you did it, and two, what are the answers. And question three, is have a wicked weekend. Thanks for tuning in. See you later.